right, so I'm back here on the warehouse. Just gonna give a little rundown of these three biotopes. And here, this is the Peruvian biotope, and it is uh, the Amazon River Basin. And in here, you can see different wild angels. Some neon tetras and glow light tetras, along with Amazon swords. There's a little like, autosynclus. And there's also a lot of skunk quarry catfish, you can see here. And then on top, there's water hyacinth and then needle leaf. Uh, what is it? Needle leaf Amazon sword and another plant down here I'm not familiar with. And there's the Malaysian driftwood in there and then different uh, South American limestone. Over here, we have the Tuta River India biotope. We have a variety of different danios and Denisoni barbs and striped botilla loaches and a lot of spider driftwood and some sandstone and then this plant uh, this is a really nice tank for floaters sorry th these are all Kessel lights and they are bright so you can hardly see the actual colors of these plants I'm giving a little shade now but there is regular lily pads from out in our ponds outside there's the water wisteria, the dwarf lilies, which are just exploding right now. As you can see, they're, they're just absolutely beautiful. They have perfect color, and they're getting redder by the day. And then, uh, I'm actually not familiar with this plant. It looks like uh, hornwort. And then up here, we have the water lettuce. And then this is uh, a type of Indian bacopa. It's called brahmi, and it's actually edible. It's extremely bitter. And then there is the uh, beetle, which is an B-E-T-E-L, also another Indian plant. And underneath, you can see its stems. Those are used in Indian cuisine, and a lot of um, Indian people chew on it. And that's what makes a lot of their teeth orange. <laughs> and then over here, it's the Congo River biotope. You can see jumping out the top is a bunch of dwarf papyrus and then down in the tank you can already see all the Congo tetras and the water is extremely brown to replicate exactly where they're coming from and I'm not familiar with many other plants in here I know this is an extremely common plant I just don't know its name and then there's cardinal flower right there there's Crebensis cichlids going around and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but there are Crebensis cichlids spawning in here. I'm not seeing it right now. But these, uh, these Congo tetras follow me around everywhere. They're, oh, <laughs> that guy got me good. They're always looking for food. And, you know, there's just a few other plants. There's a lot of val in this tank. Jungle val, um, corkscrew val, and val americana, and jumbo val. <laughs> so all those different types. And we just have a bunch of different spawning pairs of Crebensis in here. You can see they might start doing their little spawning dance. But uh, the babies are really hard to see, especially in this brown water. Sorry. And then we have, the, of course, the Kessel A360 WE Tuna Sons. It's a mouthful. We have two on every tank. Thank you, Kessel, for providing those. These are 85-gallon rimless DOS aquariums, custom-made with a steel stand and something like just a bunch of bio balls down in here. We got a 300-watt heater and uh, some activated carbon. Um, what is it? It's Kemi Pure Green. Works great. And uh, I supplement with SR Aquaristic Fertilizer. And, of course, Aquascape fertilizer for underneath these are the three and they are awesome they're my little babies